A Sydney bouncer is planning to sue police after an 18-month battle to clear his name. He was forcibly arrested and convicted for failing to obey officers. But a court has heard the charges should never have been laid. It's not easy being a cop on New Year's Eve, dealing with hot, volatile drunks. Problem is, on New Year's Eve 2004, Tarek Nasser wasn't one of them. I felt that I was targeted and I felt in a way that I was violated. The softly spoken bouncer told police he was trying to get to work at Star City Casino. He asked if he could pass through a cordon at Darling Harbour. Police refused. He argued the point and before he knew it, he was wrestled to the ground. A 28-year-old was charged with hindering police and failing to leave. He spent three hours in a cell. After Tarek Nasser was convicted, he hired a new lawyer to appeal the decision. But it didn't even get that far. After the public prosecutor saw the evidence, all the charges were dropped and the conviction was overturned. They've obviously had the opportunity of um, viewing that footage, comparing it with the uh, statements of their various police witnesses, and uh, they've made a uh, decision. Police statements claim Tarek tried several times to barge his way through, shoving one of the officers. But you can't see any of that on the security vision. Tarek says the truth has finally come out. I'm happy that it's come to this stage, but on the same hand, I'm unhappy that it's taken a year and a half just to clear my name. It cost him more than $7,000 in legal fees. Now he's planning to sue. Marguerite McKinnon, 7 News.